All right, I saw The Force Awakens this morning and I want to talk about it. This is completely unrestrained. We've seen the movie, we're going to discuss it. I'm going to slot in some general impressions, but then the main thing I want to talk about is Kylo Ren as a compelling villain. This has been a really good year for me in movies. There's been multiple movies this year that I've come out of and within hours been itching to see again. Fury Road, Jupiter Ascending, and now The Force Awakens. I don't normally get one of those on any given year, and this year I got three. So that's the foundation we're working from here. All right, first off, I think the addition of Lawrence Kasdan as co-writer and Kathleen Kennedy as producer has brought out Jajabram's best work. I enjoy the Jajabram style, even as I poke fun at it, but the way it's tempered and restrained here is fantastic. Jajabram's has always excelled at creating moments, but tends to lose interest with the connecting tissue. Kasdan's script helps keep things cohesive. The visual language is also significantly more restrained with far more judicious use of the Jajabram style. Given that he's working with his normal DP and editing team of Dan Mindel, Marion Brandon, and Mary Jo Markey, I would almost certainly attribute this to Kennedy's guiding hand as it shows the measured deliberateness of the Spielberg films Kennedy has worked on. But now let's talk about the script. The one real problem is that it's perhaps a little too aware that it's a highly anticipated Star Wars film. There are so many secrets that it's easy to lose track of exactly whose mysterious backstory we know and whose we don't know, and when there's that many balls in the air, it can undermine some of the reveals. In particular, Rey's parentage is withheld from the audience through to the end of the film, but the way Han and Maz talk about her made me think that I'd missed something. I felt like Han and Maz know who her parents are, but just didn't bother to tell the audience. Especially since Rey and Kylo Ren have the same mystery from the audience's perspective, namely, who's your daddy? At times it feels like it's just hitting the same note over and over again. Speaking of reveals, the single most effective reveal in the film is basically an anti-reveal. When Rey and Kylo Ren have their standoff during Rey's interrogation, he takes off his helmet to reveal absolutely nothing. There's nothing wrong with him. His mask is a mask in the purest sense. It is a persona that he has adopted in an attempt at making himself more like his idol, Darth Vader. And really, this brings us to the core, I could just geek out forever about Kylo Ren. This is a fantastically well-realized villain. With minimal exposition and a few small montages, we learn so much about what drives him. I mean, this is just a great example of showing instead of telling. No one ever has to say out loud, Oh, Kylo Ren? He's just impulsive, jealous, insecure, and prone to fits of vengeful rage. We see it. He overreacts to setbacks with lashing violence. He gets caught up in petty challenges to his pride. He lunges at Finn, screaming traitor because Finn's defection embarrassed him in front of Supreme Leader and General Hux. He tries to wear the legacy of his grandfather, assuming the mannerisms of power and control, but it's ultimately all an act. With mere fragmentary flashbacks, we understand his backstory intuitively, that his insecurity and sense of inadequacy would foster resentment and jealousy, leading to him lashing out with violence. The way that he venerates his grandfather's legacy and tries so hard to remake himself in Vader's image while falling short, he lacks Vader's self-control and confidence. He wants to be the right hand of power, but he's reckless and insecure, and that tragically makes him into a blunt instrument for smarter, more conniving forces. This is a wonderfully compelling villain, and I would have never guessed I'd be saying that about a character whose summary is literal Darth Vader wannabe. It's great, and it's compelling because it's not just diegetically believable, but because we can see ourselves reflected back in him. We can relate to feeling small and helpless and ignored and wanting to prove everyone wrong. Kylo Ren, Ben Solo, is an extension of us and our fears. He is our universal pain brought to the point of obsession, extended to the realm of tragedy. He lives in the shadow of a man he has mythologized, a grandfather he never met, and resents the flawed and human father he has. He is us, and that's scary. It's great. Also, it's great that he's not named Darth Bad Guy. 